So we got a bunch of first Ascendant news to go over today, including new info about Haley, our new Descendant releasing on August 29th. We're talking about Ultimate Freyna, some worries that she will be weak against this brand new Colossus. There's good reason why people are worried about this. We're going to be talking about it. Plus, are you struggling with Void Shard farming? You're going to want to pay attention to this advice for sure. And also a very big warning with one of the Colossus boss battles that you must know. We're also going to be talking about some of those challenges as well. And yes, we're going to talk about some feedback regarding new outfits that you guys want to see. And this might actually surprise some of you as well. And yes, this is what it looks like playing as SMO for 200 hours as a main. You got to see this to believe it. And guess who has returned for top comments? Hello, everybody. <laughs> yes, my fiance. And we're going to go over your top comments. So look forward to that at the end of the video. So yeah, I say we start out with that new info about Haley. Check it out right here. The official First Ascent account posted this. But if we dive into this a little bit more, we get some interesting tidbits that we did not know beforehand. It says eventually Haley was tested for an arc factor and was found to have super cooling arc abilities that enable her to drop her body temperature to extreme levels and fire our clusters instead of bullets. So Haley left the sniper squad that she had grown so fond of and officially became a descendant. But even as a descendant, Haley vowed to keep the legend alive, still reciting the 33rd sniper squad's operational mantra. So I'm kind of curious if that is going to be a line she will be saying as you play as her. We shall find out, but that is interesting. But you know, Freyna, she is really going through it in season one her story is apparently very tragic so i'm kind of curious to see if we will also eventually of course get some sort of storyline for yes Haley, which i imagine we will now mentioning freyna there are concerns about her fight versus this brand new colossus so check it out here's the post nexon really does not want us to take freyna into the colossus fights huh and it goes on to read toxic is already the worst element type to take into void intercepts as a whole and now they add yet another Colossus strong against Toxic. So check it out. Here is the post about season one. It says another Void intercept boss battle. Another Colossi has appeared in the Void, replacing Gluttony as the most challenging boss in the entire game. Now Deathstalker specializes in hunting down descendants and is a Toxic attribute monster that strikes from the shadows. There will be new mechanics here that players will have to unravel in order to have a shot at winning. So yeah, this is a little bit concerning and i do get some of the worries behind this but we do have some replies right here we have this one nah just you wait ultimate freyna will have a team that negates the need to do three backflips while saying the alphabet backwards to avoid the wipe or death stalker i just hope the fight is more in line with abstractor in terms of fun decently challenging but not requiring days of aids uh, lfg pubbing so yeah that is a concern and, you know, there might actually be, of course, some sort of module that will be given to Ultimate Freyna. I should say Ultimate Module. And that might actually help you in this fight specifically because usually they do something like that. So I'm honestly not too worried. It wouldn't make sense for them to add a boss and then kind of like, I guess you would say, discourage you away from Ultimate Freyna. If anything, they're going to have something that can really help you against this boss in regards to ultimate frame then again some of you might find that controversial we'll have to wait and see what happens but yeah we also have this one right here so it says for you all struggling with void shards 15 minutes of hagios void experiment gives you this on average check it out right here so a lot of people didn't realize this and it got heavy upvotes. and you did warn of course you're going to need bunny for the fastest completion but i am wondering maybe just maybe there is hope and this will change after season one is released and they do some updates to other characters but a lot of you don't mind that bunny is used for farming and for mobbing so yeah there's also that also we have this one right here challenges let's talk about it so this is just in case anyone didn't notice i'm doing the challenge for defeating the hangman five times and i noticed the counter wasn't going up even though i had already completed it like three times then i noticed if you hit restart mission to get right back into it instead of going back to Albion, it takes away that kill. So if everyone was wondering why their challenges are a bit off with keeping track, this might be why. But someone did note this, in a way this makes sense to me because I've noticed other challenges don't pop just by completing the action. Like when you dismantle mods or guns, the completion doesn't trigger until you close the menus 
our back of the world screen, not saying the way they do it is correct, but it makes sense that the completion of the intercept battle would trigger once you leave the area, just based on what I've noticed with other challenges. So let me know your take on this. If you think that this should be fixed and addressed, sound off in the comments down below. All right, so we also have this one. Next on, please add some form of indicator for when marks of arrest drop. I love the defend missions. They're a great way of getting XP and gold, but with how rare marks are to actually drop, the player should 100% be made aware of when they do. Check it out. It says when you have a material drop, like a code breaker or cooling metallic foils drop, you get a ding sound, right? For the life of me, I cannot figure out why there's a clear noise indication when one material drops like a code breaker, but not for a consumable that could be 100K or even 1 million gold. Can we please, as a community, band together and raise this to the tippity top so that potentially Nexon can see this post and actually add some sort of indicator, whether that's a noise or an icon on the map to let you know that you've had one drop. I do not care about karma, but I do love getting marks of arrest. Please upload this post so it can be seen. And we have people saying, I agree. I'd even go as far as to make them visible on the radar. Hell yes, there needs to be something that's going on both in terms of noise and on the radar as well. Also, check this out right here. This is freaking hilarious. It says, I love this game. Became a ping pong ball today. Stick with me because there's two perspectives of this. So check it out right here. Here is Glay, of course, doing her thing, but it goes oh so very wrong. As you can see, this looks like absolute torture and hell. <laughs> but yeah, if we go over here. Someone said, apparently he loves the game Other POV. And you could see poor Glay bouncing around right here. I can't believe they got both perspectives on that, but that happens. Let me know if you guys like the laser gates or if you think, hey, you know what? They should nerf those as well because some people find them to be a pain in the butt. But we've got to talk about SMO. So check this out right here. It says, what mobbing looks like as a 200 plus hour SMO main. This is extremely impressive right here. If we can rewind it a little bit, you can see he is absolutely racking these guys, just moving through very, very quickly. Doesn't even have to slow down whatsoever. Showing perhaps how kind of underutilized SMO can be, but you just have to have that right build, that right setup to take advantage of some of these descendants. But people are like, what? SMO as a main exists? What the hell are you talking about? Is this even possible? I must be dreaming. Yeah, so yeah, it is actually possible. And yes, we got to talk about new upcoming outfits for descendants. It seems like some players want to see more variety than just the skimpy bikini outfits. So check it out right here. It says, I would like to see more cool skins instead of just skimpy. And it gives some examples here as well from different animes and people are like agreed haven't purchased a skimpy skin in fact i had to purchase a bunny skin to cover up ultimate bunny now someone also did say this as well this seems to be a theme out here cosmetics skimpy female costumes i'm just gonna be straight this game needs to chill with the female cosmetics i can appreciate some cheeks like any other man but with the skins they're releasing are basically just to get some gooner attention and money. The cosmetic associated with Valby's ultimate has no taste. I honestly prefer her base descendant skin because it just looks cooler. Sure, you can stare at cheeks for 100 hours or maybe release a cool, tasteful skin alongside your gooner bait. By the way, the only cosmetics I have bought is the regular Ajax armor set and the hair cosmetics for Sharon, that sort of hair in the color looks crazy good on her skin tone. I honestly prefer more tasteful skins. And you know, a lot of people do agree with this but of course you have people like this add more skimpy clothes and revealing bikinis we need more we need more erotic costumes for the female cast and jiggle physics he added in the jiggle physics in in there as well uh so yeah it, it's definitely an interesting discussion my whole thing is just balance it you know from the dev uh team perspective i say just balance this out make sure you have a wide variety of really cool skins of course uh, and not just go all in on these skimpy skins because, yeah, I do totally agree uh, that, you know, balance is everything with this sort of thing. All right. So now it's time to go over your top comments with my fiance. Hello, everybody. But first, you said you wanted to write the booties of Ultimate Freyna and the new Descendant Haley. Yes. Okay. So I like me some booty. Let's do this. So here is booty number one. It is Haley, the new Descendant. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
I mean, I have seen the jiggle. Yeah. <laughs> 10 out of 10 approved. 10 out of 10 approved. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They put some work into the jiggle animation for sure. They sure did. They're like, can I get to the yams? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, in fact, you should you should show us the clip again. <laughs> you want to see the clip again? Whoa. Oh. <laughs> slap, slap. <laughs> slap, slap right there. <laughs> Very impressive now. And Kidding. number two, we have Ultimate Freyna. Oh, my God. Now, this woman does a squat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She spent some time in this the gym. This is a 20 clearly. out of 10. Yeah. I mean, this. Mm -mm. Yep. Yep. That's pretty impressive right there. Like the peach emoji. Love yep. it. Exactly. Exactly. That's what the peach <laughs> emoji is based off of. <laughs> All right. So let's get into some of the reactions. Check it out right here. Some spicy reactions. Mm -hmm. Cake on a snowy mountain exists. Next on Slap Slap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Men of culture, unite. Unite under one banner. Oh, my. In fact, let, let's look at the mountain one more time. Yeah, you know, you got to check out the scenery. Damn. <laughs> I'm a bunny main, and I didn't know she could use a gun. Wow. What? Really? <laughs> Surprise. Is that actually a thing? Do any of your bunny mains actually use weapons? What is this madness? New Descendant looks sick. Yeah, I cannot wait to play as Haley. Her abilities sound really cool. And you guys already know I main a cold, uh, you know, Descendant, Viesa, as you can see right here. So we got another cold Descendant in Haley, and it should be pretty cool. And she's more long range with the Relic Gun, so that's going to be awesome. Ooh. All right, so here are some more recent top comments. Check it out right here. One of the big problems in the game right now is communication. Nexon needs to bring its own ping system in the first Ascendant. It would make communication with other player much easier. Ping floor, ping enemy, ping weak point. I totally agree. You know, especially when you team up with randoms, that'd be a great system. If you're not using microphones or whatever, that system should definitely be implemented for sure. All right, next up, we have this one right here. I always advise to stay away from toxic females, but I may have to make an exception for Ultimate Freyna. Oh, boy. He likes the folks he cuss. Yeah, <laughs> he does. All right, one more. I really hope the devs consider actually start to include gold as a reward for completing daily and weekly challenges. For me, this would be a great addition and another incentive to go grind out those daily and weekly challenges. Yeah, and you know, they need a uh, bonus reward for just logging in the game every day as well to encourage mm -hmm. players to log in. That would up the player base, I think, and people would be curious and check out stuff. So Stay consistent. totally, yeah, agree on that one. All mm -hmm. right, thank you all so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye, Mountain Man. <laughs> <laughs>